What's up, MMA fans? This is JP, and I am the MMA Freak. I'm here with a very special guest with us today. This is Antonio Pato Carvalho. So, Pato, what, uh, what's the story behind that? Uh, well, when I originally started training, I actually started uh, doing judo first. And uh, after a couple of months of training, I met uh, the people I'd basically been working with Brazilian Jiu Jitsu with. So we started sort of training with each other, going back and forth between gyms. And it just so happens one day we had the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys over at the Judo Club. And uh, the Judo instructor at the beginning kind of felt like, you know, I, I felt it was okay at the time for him, but I guess he was uh, not too happy about it. And he felt that maybe I should have been going the Judo route instead. And um, I see. he kind of came over to me and he, he said, uh, you know, Antonio, you're, you're swimming with the ducks instead of soaring with the eagles. And it was the kind of answer I didn't like at the time, you know, because I was tr obviously trying to expand my knowledge and, uh, and I respected all my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu friends at the time. And I uh, said, so you know what? If uh, you're the eagle, I'd much rather be the duck. So my Brazilian Jiu Jitsu friends overheard it and uh, they just labeled me Pato, which is most Portu in Portuguese means duck. So nice. that's the story of that. So you've got your big UFC debut coming up. Um, you were previously supposed to make your debut uh, another time. What happened with that? Uh, injury. Injury came up and uh, had to talk to the team and see whether or not uh, you know, it was the right choice to, 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 to make to, to go out there and fight the way, uh, you know, in the state that I was. And um, I did eventually did get an MRI and the results came back and they weren't too good. So I had a torn um, ACL, LCL, and I had a ruptured hamstring. So wow. uh, it probably wasn't a good idea. So we decided that. Uh, it's probably best that we pull out this time as, as hard as that was because, you know, the UFC, it's, they don't give you brownie points for going out there and fighting injured. You know, it's about yeah. performance. you got to perform. And, you know, if I were to go out there even injured and, and not perform and lose and come back and say, well, I was injured, you know, you know White said it publicly. Cut. No, he's already said it. You know, it doesn't give anyone brownie points for that. And you got to come prepared and come ready to fight and entertain the crowd or else, you know, you're out. So. Nice. Um, in honor of your debut, I decided to wear my nice UFC uh, sweater over I see, here. I see, yeah. Give it a little plug. If you were to have a fight with any top celebrity out there, who do you think would be your toughest opponent and why? Master Seagal. Nice. Of course. You know, he, he showed uh, the ultimate sheet of that front kick, you know, Anderson Silva, that front kick. Yep. Deadly man. You know, real. It's all about him. You know, if, if it weren't for him, they wouldn't have been able to pull that off. So, definitely Steven Seagal for sure. Absolutely. Or Thanks. Master Seagal, sorry. You've got to make sure that's correct. Go. Perfect. Yeah, for sure. Superpower. If you had a choice, would it be super speed or super yeah. strength? I like speed. It's definitely super speed. What do you yeah. think would uh, be the big benefit of that? Good strength. Well, you just couldn't see me coming. I like nice. that. In and out. In and out. Strike and you're down before you even know it. Hell yeah. Right? What's your favorite cheat meal? Ooh, I got a couple actually, but you know, usually after I fight. Right off the bat, I have to have a Snickers bar. I don't nice. know why, it's just customary, so sometimes I don't even have to buy it myself. All my teammates kind of know, and they're handing me the Snickers bars right after the fight, and uh, of course I, I eat them as quickly as I possibly can, nice. and then get really sick, but uh, it's worth Perfect. it. It's all worth it in the end. Find it really satisfying? Absolutely. All the hard work, you know, pays off. What do you do to uh, keep your mental focus, make sure that, you know, the stress is not going to get to you? I think no matter what, you're going to be stressed. And, you know, it's a stressful situation, but that's part of why I like it. You know, I, I also understand uh, why I'm stressed, why the adrenaline dumps. You know, it's kind of a, a natural defense mechanism for our bodies, right? And in, in the beginning, when I first started fighting, I, I kind of let it get to me a little bit. You know, you start to feel a little winded, gassed, and you start doubting yourself. But in reality, I start to realize that you know what? If anything, it, it protects you, and that that kind of fear and that excitement of the fight kind of protects you. So um, I try not to think about it too much because. You know, especially at this point, you know, I'm pretty relaxed right now. I'm, I'm not mm -hmm. thinking about it. I still got one more training session tomorrow, even, and uh, I won't be thinking about it until probably the day of the fight when I start going to the venue and I start to think about it a little bit more. But again, I'll, I'll try to uh, calm myself down and, and tell myself that you know, I'm not the only one that's feeling this way. All the other guy is human too. You know, he puts on the shorts like I do, and, and uh, he's just as scared. And if he's not, then that's his problem. You know, so I'm. My fear keeps me safe. I always felt that that's always how it's been, and uh, you know, I, I, as long as I understand that, I think I can be as relaxed and apply my craft and hopefully fight well. Nice, perfect. All right, so tell us how is training gone? Uh, is 
going well? And are you ready to put on a big show again? Yeah, everything's gone really well. You know, my, my strength and condition coach has kept me, you know, uh, in great shape, and of course kept me from overtraining, which is something I have a habit of doing. My teammates are doing the same thing. As soon as I'm finished, you know, the amount of rounds I'm supposed to do right off the bat, they cut me off. They tell me to go home and, and go rest. And uh, for the first time, I think I've actually done that. So <laughs> I've just uh, trusted in them, and uh, everything's gone really well so far. And I, I have no excuses. I, 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 I'm ready to fight. It's that simple. Perfect. Excellent. Well, thanks very much for your time. Antonio Pato Carvalho. Thank you.